I'm Vinny Politan. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. And the first story uh, I want to talk about is a story that happened before the George Floyd case. And of course, Court TV was covering it from the beginning. It was the shooting of Ahmaud Arbery, a young man who was jogging through a neighborhood in southeast Georgia in Glynn County. There are three defendants in that case. One, two of them are father's son. They were the ones with the weapons. They were the ones in the truck, the first truck. The second truck was driven by a man named Roddy Bryan. He didn't have a gun. He had a cell phone that he used as a camera to record the entire thing. But all three have been charged. All three have been locked up, waiting for their day in court. So now, the latest is that Roddy Bryan's attorney, Kevin Goff, who's been very aggressive in his representation of Roddy Bryan, has been talking about his innocence, is making another plea to the court to try to get Roddy Bryan out of jail before his trial, to get him out on bond, because he has no bond. He's locked up. Let's take a look at what uh, Kevin Goff has filed with the court now. Uh, a new bond request for Roddy Bryan. The state's bizarre written response opposing Mr. Bryan's request, for example, that Roddy Bryan has no substantial ties to the community, was so plainly contradicted by the record and the reality as to be almost Orwellian or Kafkaesque, especially since it was his very arrest that precipitated the loss of his home and real property in Glynn County, Georgia, where he has been a resident virtually his entire life. Let's bring in Court TV anchor Ted Rollins, who's been down to Glynn County. He's been in that neighborhood uh, covering this story for us. Um, Ted, first, your reaction to this renewed request? Well, you know, we talked about it before, Vinny. Kevin Goff, you mentioned at the top of the show, he has been very aggressive. He is um, one of those lawyers that has has no problem standing on the stair steps of the courthouse and exclaiming that his client is absolutely innocent. And um, that motivation has prompted him to uh, craft many motions, and this is the latest of them. He does have a good point. If you look at it, what he's upset about is the response that the state gave, saying, well, we can't give him bond because he's he doesn't have ties to the community. He'll be a flight risk. Um, yeah, that really doesn't square, so he's making that point. Bottom line is, he's a guy you want as your attorney because he's a little odd, a bit of an oddball, but uh, very aggressive, and um, he is not afraid to fight for his client. All right. Another issue is the health of Roddy Brines as well, right? Yeah, he brings this up as part of his motion, saying that uh, he has high blood pressure, um, citing that the last time he had his blood pressure taken, um, it was a whopping 201 over 114, which is pretty high. And so this is a this is one of those. Uh, ones that we hear all the time, right? Like, we got to let, let my guy out because he's got medical issues. Uh, we hear that time and time again. This one, he's using it again to try to urge the court to offer bond of some sort, saying that this blood pressure is so high that the response from the um, medical staff at the jail is to put him on tranquilizers, and that has other issues as well. So another point he made, let my guy out on bond. You know, another point that Goff has made, and this is from the beginning. I mean, I remember talking to him months ago, is that Roddy Bryan has cooperated from the beginning. I mean, not only has he cooperated, but he has also produced uh, the biggest piece of evidence for the prosecution of the case, which was the video that he recorded and volunteered to police when they showed up. Yeah, and uh, one thing, you know, one would think that maybe the state would want to actually put him on as a witness, too. I think that ship has sailed because he's the only person that can articulate to the jury what he claims uh, Travis McMichael said uh, the last two words after the shooting, uh, and they were a horrible two words. He used the, uh, just, we can't repeat them, but you can imagine what they were. Um, so as to that point, as part of his um, request and his response to the state, he writes, does Kevin Goff about his client saying, as they say, no good deed goes unpunished without Roddy Bryan. As the body cameras and other evidence make clear, many details with respect to the tragic shooting death of Ahmad Arbery would have been lost forever. And speaking of body cameras, we do have that new body camera uh, video that was released. We have Travis telling his story, Greg telling his story. We also have Roddy telling his story. Take a look.
How you doing, sir? Hey, All right, so what, you're a passerby coming through? Nah, not necessarily. Okay. They come running by. Step my... up here to say we'll get a chance. Yeah. <coughs> All right, so where were you located at? Okay, you were two houses down. Yeah. At what number again? Oh, 307. 307. Burford. Working on my porch. 307, what now? Burford. 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 That, that turns into Burford okay. right there. 163. All right, so I'm on the porch and I see him running by and I see them come by in the white truck. Okay, you guys run by this direction. Oh, you're running that traffic. Okay, I didn't want to interrupt. So when I we see did him, receive a call from I another man. Take the people getting broken into out here. Right. You know, so I hollered at them. I said, y'all got him? And he just kept running. He was full bore running down Burford. Um, they got down to the end down there somewhere. I must have passed him because I pulled out of my driveway. I was going to try to block him. But he was going all around it, and I made a few moves at him, you know. Um, and he... He didn't stop. Did he ran down here, and I stopped about where the fire truck is, and then he, he eased this way. So I came this way. He got down around the end down there, so about halfway actually, not quite at the end. All right, pause for a minute. Turned around. So first he was running this way. Yep. Then he came back. Yep. All right, come up kinda this way. He kind of chilled for a second right there. Okay. Got his breath, and then come okay. this way. Okay. I went that way, and he was still running and jogging and running at least at this point. Was he still yeah, running? Oh yeah, he was okay. running like I want to ask. Okay. Um, and they started coming from that way. Okay, they is in this white truck. White truck. Yeah. Okay. And I tried to kind of block him again. I didn't okay. really know who that was at the time, but okay. um, I tried to block him again. That didn't happen. They went around me, so I turned around, come back. About the time I was fixing to get out the truck or see what he was doing, he started coming back towards me. Okay, so at this point, you guys are where? Up, up, still up here? No, no, we we had all. Okay, so come back to he went here. up, and then did he turn around on his own and come back this way? Yeah. Okay, so he turned around, came back this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. Um, I mean, he's a little fuzzy right there, but they all okay. jump out in the damn truck. He turns around, comes, sees me. He turns back around and starts hauling ass that way. Okay. He's out the truck on the driver's side, and he had the shotgun. Okay, who did? The driver's side. Oh, the the driver of the truck had the shotgun. Right, okay. uh, Travis over there, I guess. All right, so pause one minute so I can get it right. So when he got out with the shotgun, where was the black middle at that time? Man, I want to say about the middle of this driveway. Okay. But on the road right there. Yes. And then Travis. That's never fine. Really, hey, take, first of all, take your time. You're good, man. He all never right. really raised his gun to him. Okay. But about that time. He come over and started just welling on his face. The black dude started hitting the white guy in the face. Okay, and this occurred where? Around the driveway uh, or right here? Around the driveway area. Around the driveway area, okay. Yep. Now, did the, the this gentleman here, right, did, did he walk up to the black guy with the shotgun? No, it was Travis. The okay, the other guy. The with all the blood on him. He's standing there with a the shotgun. Yep. The guy. No, no, no. Travis has got the shotgun. Okay, this guy's got the shotgun. Mm -hmm. He was the one in the truck. Actually, he was around the front of the truck by this point, and he had a pistol. Who was driving the truck? Travis. Okay. So he, so tell me about Travis. Started that point again. Where was Travis at? Because I, I want to make sure I knew who jumped out of the truck with a shotgun. Who jumped out of the truck with a shotgun? Travis. Okay. He got out of the truck with a shotgun. Mm -hmm. Then what happened? He come around the other side. Okay. Greg here. Come around the other side with a pistol. With a pistol. Okay. Um, by that time, this guy, gentleman here standing on this side of the truck with a shotgun. Yep. Okay. And they were hitting on each other. All right, Paul's right there for me. All right. He's right here with a shotgun. Mm -hmm. This guy went around the other side with a, a handgun. Mm -hmm. Black gentleman standing right here, around the driveway area. Well, he's still in the road. He never okay, so right in the road there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. At what point? What happened there with the, with the three individuals? Who? Man, who? I think the black guy come over. I mean, like I say, the gun was about like this. Okay. I remember seeing the gun okay. was about like this. The black guy come over and started welding on his head. Okay. On Travis's head. Okay. And do you remember where were you at this point? Back a little further than I am right now. Okay. In the truck. Did that occur closer toward the truck? Did did the Black guy advanced toward the truck a little bit. No, Travis was on this side. Okay. Black guy comes this way. Okay. Eddie. All right, and that was around the front of the truck, then, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Where is he at during this this physical altercation? He's standing kind of more in front of the truck. Okay. With his pistol. Okay. And where is the shotgun located at during this? While the black guy is punching, you said the black guy was punching the white guy in the face, right? In the head? Yeah. While he's punching him, where is... Uh... Most of the time it's down like this. <laughs> okay. 
and Travis really can't get away from him, can't pull up okay. with the shotgun. Um, I think Travis even gets a lick or two in. Okay. And the other black guy gets a little lick or two in, and about that time the shotgun gets raised up, and he pulls the trigger. Okay. And then it seems like it goes for a second of struggling again. Okay. I mean, like, good 10 seconds maybe. Okay. Before again. I think I heard three, three shots. Was he defending himself? Did yeah. It like he was defending himself to you? Yeah. I mean, if the guy would have stopped, you know, I mean, find out what was going on, he obviously was up okay. I mean, this would have never happened. Um, you know, should we have been chasing him? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, but, uh, yeah, no, at that point he was, he, one time when I cornered him up over here, he was trying to get in my truck. He tried to get in my door. Okay. So That was on his road here? No, it was on that road. On that road. Yeah. So he did he come up to your door and was pulling your door handle yeah. on the driver's side? Driver's side. Matter of fact, he's promising. So let me ask you this. What what you know, what did it look like he was trying to do? He was trying to get he was trying to get on this side of the car, right? What did it look like he was trying to do? What yeah, I mean I'd cut him off pretty good now, okay. you know, but it, I mean did he, put, he actually he pulled on your handle? I, I wouldn't be surprised if that sitting warrants right there. Okay. He was trying to get to the handle. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, did uh Nobody got us on video. You just witnessed it, yeah, correct? I got it. You I got it on video? I ain't looked at it. Okay. You ready? Yes, sir. Yeah. And there you have it. Uh, the last question. No one has it. I got it. I got it on video. Vinny, you notice um, at one point at the end there, um, as he's telling the story, he says, he says, yeah, I think it was self-defense. And then Roddy Bryan says, now, I don't know if we should have been chasing him. And he kind of chuckles. This is going to be a fascinating case to see transpire because, um, you know, especially Roddy Bryan's case, his role in all of this, it's going to be up to a jury, obviously. As he tells the story, I don't think he really realizes when the first shot is fired because everything he seemed to be describing were the second and third shots. Um, and when you watch the video, you know, that first shot, it's it's kind of obscured by the front of the um truck and, and the door that's open so you don't see everything so I don't think he actually realized at the moment as he's trying to recall what happened when that first shot was fired which is a significant shot because that according to prosecutors is the fatal shot absolutely and he describes him as at after the altercation the fisticuffs and the, and the, the video really doesn't support that the video supports maybe um, a, a tussle over the gun and that's a freeze frame a perfect freeze frame showing what happened just before the first shot was fired um, so you're right and, and that's another classic example of it is so hard you know witness testimony is so flawed at times I mean this literally happened 10 five minutes ago and he can't really remember exactly how it happened that's why the video is so important Absolutely. And, 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 you know, you remind me, people are always, and, and criminal defense attorneys are always saying, ah, no direct evidence, no direct, e direct evidence is eyewitness testimony, which, as, as you pointed out in this case, is different than what we see on the video. So um, uh, amazing, uh, amazing stuff. Ted, thanks so much. Appreciate it. You bet.